I have one hour to take down a 116 ounce milkshake plus a one and a half pound sandwich. That's the equivalent of drinking nine milkshakes and eating a sandwich six times bigger than what you'd get at an average deli counter. Oh, by the way, I saw, I saw that show Man Vs. Food. And that was a show that I used to make fun of. I thought it was fucking stupid. And uh, I was just like, ah, this is dumb. Ah, uh, this show ain't no good. I don't want to watch this fucking sweaty guy eat all this goddamn food. And I don't know what happened. I was on the road and I, I watched him. I don't know where he was, but he fucking, uh, he, he, he ate this sandwich. It was a, he had to eat a turkey sandwich that I swear to God was the size of a purse. It was stacked that fucking high. It was ridiculous. And then it came with a shake that you could literally put, you could like, you know, people who like have like a, like a tree growing in their house. You know how big that fucking pot is? That, that, that was all, sh it was four pounds of milkshake. Have you ever sat down, like just been like, you know, I feel a little peckish. I'm gonna have a half gallon of ice cream. <laughs> Can't say that. You are right now. So the dude, Eats all but two bites of the turkey sandwich. He sucks down this shake that looked like you, you, you fucking. It was as big as a fire hydrant worth a fucking milkshake. He sucks this whole fucking thing down. Right? He's got 20 minutes to go to eat the final two fucking bites. And he's just sitting there with like, he, he, you know, like the thinker, you know, that pose, that great statue. He's sitting there like that, except he's sweating. And it took him 17 minutes to eat two bites. I mean, I could have stuck both bites in my mouth and, and ate them in like 30 seconds. That's how fucking full this guy was and how hard he had to concentrate to not just fucking blow chow right after he fuck a blow chow. Jesus Christ, that's from my high school days. Dude, you hear about Eddie? Yeah, he was drinking. He fucking blew chow last night, kid. Um, trying not to fucking puke. But anyways, he went to uh, he went to Minneapolis and uh, he there was some sort of sandwich up there that two places claim. What the fuck was the sandwich? Two places claim that they are the original. For the last 50 years, two different joints, Matt's Bar and the 5-8 Club, both located on Cedar Avenue, have been warring over who invented and perfected Minnie's favorite burger. Could somebody please tell me? What that place is, what the name of that place is. I want to fucking go there because I want to try that sandwich because it looked delicious. Remember, Bill, just because you have their attention doesn't mean you have their respect. Just another traveling song. Yeah, but all the roads are gone. Engines crying out to run. Just another traveling song. Used to take far from. 